Democrats held their latest debate last night. Their primary in South Carolina is two weeks from tomorrow. Here's Nancy Cordes. He does not support the way I do, building on the progress that the president has made. In rural South Carolina today, Hillary Clinton portrayed Bernie Thank Sanders so as one-dimensional, part oh of a new God. strategy she unveiled at last night's debate. We both share the goal of universal health care coverage. You know, she before, is embracing his vision, called, but panning uh, his plans Obamacare. in detail. You need to level with people. Every progressive economist who has analyzed that says that the numbers don't add up. It would probably increase uh, the size of the federal government by about 40 percent. That is absolutely inaccurate. Secretary Clinton has been going around the country saying Bernie Sanders wants to dismantle the Affordable Care Act. People are going to lose their Medicaid. We're not going to dismantle anything. And with South Carolina's minority heavy primary looming, she is accusing Sanders of undermining the nation's first black president. In the past, he's called him weak. He's called him a disappointment. The kind of criticism that we've heard from Senator Sanders about our president, I expect from Republicans. I do not expect from someone running for the Democratic nomination to succeed, President that Obama. That is, Madam Secretary, that is a low blow. I have worked with President Obama for the last seven years. But you know what? Last I heard, we lived in a democratic society. Last I heard, a United States senator had the right to disagree with the president. Clinton supporter and former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright apologized today for saying last week that, quote, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. She acknowledged in an op-ed, Scott, that in this context, it offended some women who aren't voting for Hillary Clinton. Nancy Cordes, thanks very much.